my name is Sarah and I'm here at Level in Berlin. Super excited because in a moment, Shocks will be here. Let's go. Hi Shocks, thank you so much for meeting me here today. Uh, no problem, I'm really excited to, to be here and to talk to you today. Hey, thank, thank you. you. And I know you've been here before. Yeah. I know you know this place, but have you tried all the machines before? I haven't. I've actually worked here a couple of times. Uh, I'm friends with some of the streamers here, but I barely ever have time to play play the games. I, I should say already that I'm really bad at games generally, which I know is weird because I work in them, but maybe that's why I'm a commentator and not a player. Mm. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. I feel the same way. Okay, <laughs> good. So we'll go for the lowest score possible. Yeah, we can make it like a little internal competition Great. between you and I. Great. Okay, is there any particular game they're like scoped out that you're more interested in? I I don't know which they have, but I used to play a lot of Mortal Kombat, but like the old, old one when I was like 12 uh, in the restaurant, we had like a, a machine with Mortal Kombat uh, and Killer Instinct, I think as well. But I don't know which ones are here, but I love to play like, you know, one of those. Okay, but I have a lot of stuff planned. It's gonna be a very interesting day and I hope we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm sure we will. Okay, so this is the first game of the day, Shox. It's Street yep. Fighter. Uh -huh. I know you're very competitive, uh -huh. so I'm pretty excited to see how Me you're too. gonna- Me too. Me too. I've one. seen a lot of people play this game. Oh, we got Cammy. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Oh, her outfit is bomb. Oh, oh. Oh, ah. <laughs> oh. What? Oh. And you accidentally picked this and you're like killing Yeah, me. it was like an accident. But you're very competitive, I know, Shucks. I'm uh, super competitive, but really bad at games, so it's a bad combo. But you used to play Unreal Tournament. Yeah. Yeah, and that was like your start in the gaming sphere? Uh, well, my I guess my first game was like games that actually don't exist anymore, like we had a floppy disk. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Unreal Tournament, that came out in 1999. I was 14 um, and I loved that game. Uh, it was what got me into competitive and online gaming too. Oh! <laughs> Are you dead? Yeah, you got me. KO, Chun Li wins. Nice, sorry. So this is the competitive edge, yeah, yeah, just like coming out. Do you ever wonder like what could have been if you would have kept on like gaming? I think about that all the time because really? when I did Unreal Tournament, so we went to LAN parties and stuff. Um, and we scrimmed and we had meetings and we had like, you know, it was a whole thing. Uh, it was on Clambase. I don't know if you remember that. Um, it's like Jackson, but like 20 years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, um, yeah, we felt like pro gamers, but we didn't know there was something like a pro gamer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it wasn't as developed as now. But um, yeah, we won like the European Cup um, and we played like a league. So we played every week and stuff. and. So, yeah, it was dope. And sometimes I think, oh, if that was today, would I be like a professional? Yes. Maybe. Let's just yes, say yes. yes. I mean, right now, you're really giving me a, yeah. a battle here. Yeah. All right. So we talked a bit about your like Unreal Tournament and you're almost going pro maybe. Yes. Um, but I know like your nickname. Yeah. Yeah. Where did that come from? It's something related to Unreal Tournament, right? Yeah, it is actually. It comes from a shock rifle. So I used to play Capture the Flag oh. Instagram. <laughs> and it's called a shock rifle. And uh, you probably have a similar thing uh, in Danish maybe, but like the H is like a J in Dutch. Ah. Um, and I thought I was really cool when I was 14, so I put like a J instead of an H. Uh, the problem is now that's my professional nickname, so people are like, how do you pronounce this? Like, Shajox? And I'm like, no, it's just Shox. It's just, you know, like an electric shock. <laughs> that's how it is. But uh, I'm still happy. It's a cool, I'm happy with my nickname, you know? I mean, I can't change the past, so. No, oh, you should move on. Which is, this is me. Ooh, what? How? How? I'm getting my ass. Out. I really so don't you. know. You've been in the scene for like so long. Oh my god, you're kicking my ass. <laughs> and we talked about. Ooh, ooh. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, have you played this before? No, don't ask me to do that again. <laughs> and you've been like in the league scene almost since the beginning. You've been to almost every single Worlds event. Yeah. Except for the first one. Yeah. Which one was your favorite? Is there any that like stands out? Oh, I mean. All have their own things, which make them stand out. Wait, we're gonna concentrate to get the final hit. No! <laughs> I get so lucky. I really don't know what I'm doing. No, you're just a gamer. You're just a gamer. <laughs> um, it's hard because all of them have something that is cool in their own right, right? Um, I particularly like the one that was in 2015 because it was in Europe. Ah. Yes. And it was the year, the first year that two of our European teams got to the semifinals, uh, Fnatic and Origin. Yeah. They both got knocked out against the Korean teams, but you know, it's fine. Um, and I liked it because it was in Belgium, in Brussels, and it was 
You know, I had done the job for a long time, but my parents, this is the first time that they got to come to like an arena to watch Aww. me. And I think that's the first time that it really got hit home that I was doing something real, you know, <laughs> that is this is not a real just job. Me, it's not just me playing in my bedroom um, and making videos. So it's a real cool. job, mom. Oh, and um, yeah. And actually the other one in Europe as well in 2019, Ooh. maybe. You know, I like the ones in Europe more because I get to be in Europe probably. A little biased. A little biased. Uh, but that being said, uh, in 2014, we went to Korea and we were there for like six weeks oh. and it was great. Uh, I remember having just such a cool time, which I think about now a lot because we're in, in COVID times, right? So it was so cool because we had like 100 production people there and we would just go see the city after the show, like um, meet Korean fans, which, you know, it was the first time for me that I could meet so many of them. Um, and the atmosphere was really, really dope. Uh, I also had like Imagine Dragons performing then. And I don't know, it's like, feels like a long time ago. <gasps> Am I winning? No! <laughs> I'm trying to like talk and then you pay yeah, attention to me and I just go in. The double KO though. Wait, okay, so we have a final round. So you went to Korea and stayed for six weeks. Did you get any like amazing food? Yeah, I had so much food. I think I put on like, I don't know how many kilograms that <laughs> I got back because I had so much like spicy chicken, oh. beautiful like vegetarian dishes, Korean barbecue, of course. Uh, they also have really interesting desserts um, by the, in China as well, by the way. And um, you know, it's really nice because before I was one of those people who, you know, one of those children who was like, I don't like broccoli. I don't like this. This. And then when I started traveling for work, I was like, okay, you know, screw this. Can I say that? I don't know. I was like, I'm going to try everything. Um, and it was cool because we sometimes got taken out, congratulations, <laughs> by, you know, teams or, or um, you know, Korean producers. And they would always show us the, the nicest places to eat. I really miss that. Aww. You know, I mean, I love Europe, but I know the food here. You know, yeah, I know the schnitzels everything. in Germany. <laughs> I've had enough of them, you know. So this was Street Fighter. We're one for one now. Yeah. What do you think about this game? Should we bring it into Jackson? Yes. Should we start doing Street Fighter? I think Street Fighter is a wonderful <laughs> game um, and it's got still a really vibrant community. I think in general, fighting games just have, you know, one of the most insane communities in all of esports. So I definitely think, yes, maybe I'll practice a bit. Oh, okay. Maybe we can get you like the head of the, you can be the head of the Street Fighter. Uh... Knowing nothing about it. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah, no, no. no, but you're so good. Maybe, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> I mean, I beat you, Sarah. Oh, oh, that certainly makes me qualified. Yeah, I haven't been here for four days probably practicing before you came. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we try something else? Yes. I'm so happy. Oh. You're literally my favorite person in the world right now. Yes, that okay. was great. Yeah. That's a great win for me. Yeah. I hope that uh, I can uh, win your higher regards with my next little thing. Because of course we moved to the bar, so we should get a drink. My favorite place. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I have also prepared, um, I have brought a few. Oh, Leffe. Uh, uh, a nice. few Belgian beers. Lovely. That, uh, Duvel? I hope. Oh my god. I've done some research. This is dangerous to drink yes, this one. Yeah. And Blanche Lamy. Oh, go. and a chouf. Wow. You know all these. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, in fact, a funny story is that, uh, you know, the Euro Cup football was a while ago, uh, but I am in Berlin, sadly. So, um, I couldn't go home to watch. And for the match against Italy, which, um, yeah, which I also ate pasta <laughs> with mayo, but we're not talking about that. But I got a bunch of these beers to share with the German friends oh. and, you know, my friends to watch the match. Okay. And I, in fact, in one evening, I drank all of these and a couple more. Uh, and the, the, the sad thing is that we lost the game and I had a huge hangover. Oh. So. <laughs> well, but you had some great beers. Yeah, it's um, true. So I have quite a lot. I mean, you can take the rest home. If you could you pick one, just one, to enjoy with me right now. Uh, to okay. enjoy, I think I would go for La Chouf. Uh -huh. um, it's a bit on the heavier side, but it's a really famous blonde beer, which is, it's not like you are, and it's a very light kind yeah. of blonde one. You can have, you know, a couple of in the sun, you won't feel too much. Leffe is a bit heavier. You have the blonde and the brown version of it, um, but a bit of a deeper, richer taste. Duvel is wonderful, but it will blow your head off because <laughs> it is so, um, I wonder how much, if it says, yeah, 8.5%, oh, okay. but these aren't much less usually. These this, this one is eight. This one's eight. This okay. one's eight point five. This one's four. So we're gonna go for the eight. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, this is a wonderful a good, beer. All right. Yeah. You can take that one. Which one should I have? I've, I've tried the Hogan before. You've tried this one yeah, before. Yeah, I like. I like it. It's pretty good. Um, I mean, for my own entertainment, I'd love to like see you try the <laughs> Duvel. To be honest. Okay. <laughs> okay. Your choice. Wonderful. There we go. Cheers. And, uh, I mean, usually you, you need like... You can take these with you if you want to keep them. For sure. I want. Oh, no, you know, you don't have to ask me twice. Usually, that they put it in like the traditional glasses, like the Duvel one uh -huh. is like the big cone one I think because then you really get you know all the all the flavors Ooh. the way you're supposed to but this is gonna work. Cheers. Uh, Santé. 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 Mm. Oh 
This yeah, is, it's intense. It, but it's good. It's good. I this like one's it. so great. Yeah. Mm. All right. So I was wondering, we talked so much about the esports and your career and stuff. There's one thing I'm really curious to know, and maybe some other people are too. You always don these amazing outfits Thank you. when you're on stage. <laughs> and I always like look on your Instagram and it's so impressive. Um, do you do the outfits and styling yourself? Um, it's um, in part myself, in part we get help of a stylist. So when I work for the LEC, we actually have um, a stylist team. I mean, they're not yeah. all there at the same time. We're not divas like that, but they help us with outfits as well. Um, but most of the things I um, get myself, I buy myself and I kind of think of my looks because my style has changed so much throughout the years because when I started, I really didn't know what to wear. So I was just wearing like, you know, just a, a normal top with a black blazer and jeans. And that was always it um, because, you know, I was just figuring out my own style. And I found it really cool that we're able to express ourselves so much because in esports, I think if you look at five years ago, it was very like cookie cutter. You know, the oh, guys yeah. would wear like a shirt with a vest or something. The girls would be in a classically cut dress and, and that would kind of be it. And uh, I think it's cool that we've broken out of that. And now, you know, guys can wear a, a skirt. Of course they can. Uh, girls can wear a power suit. Of course they can. You know, anyone can really show their personality a bit more uh, um, with their clothes. So... I love it, like putting like band shirts on, you know, I love Queens of the Stone Age, oh, so. Really? Yeah, Me too. I really no, like real? wearing that, for instance. Um, and then I paired it with like a bit more high heels and a fancier oh, yeah. pants so that it worked out and a couple of jewels, you know. I really love thinking about it that way. And I really like that people notice, you know, they yeah. get like the. No, like, I notice. I don't know if it's like a women's thing, but I really notice. No, yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh my God, on Instagram, they're so good. Well, yeah. thank you. I should, no maybe problem. I should get a personal stylist. Uh, <laughs> and they're really helpful, yeah. But sometimes they put you in things that you're like, I can't wear that. And you wear and you think, okay, that looks yeah, good. Thank that's you. Good. So we see you also evolve more as a person, like exactly. figuring out your style. Yeah. Oh, but it's been such a long ride for you. You've been in the community forever. You're like a, a stable in the community. I was also wondering now that we're here and maybe we can get into some of this stuff. Has there ever been like anything that was like really awkward or something you were super like nervous for any is there any tea well, on this it ha well it happens <laughs> all the time uh, because i think with many people that work in esports that are on air talent we didn't grow up wanting to be on camera you know it's not like we you know we're five and think oh i'm going to be a presenter or a commentator at one day i think for all of us it came kind of just you know, it just came naturally, um, but we never got any formal training. So I'm usually very, very nervous. I specifically oh, remember really? um, an IEM Katowice um, event, and it's like a huge stage, of course. And um, I had to do the opening. And I think I'm a pretty good host, like in a studio. A pretty, I, you're pretty good. Yeah, but okay, <laughs> hear me out. I don't think I'm very good on a stage. Like I, I, for some reason, I just sound awkward when I have to be like, hello everyone. Like it's not like, I don't feel like comfortable. So I really have to practice, uh, practice at it. And in Katowice, I was so nervous. I couldn't even like, I remember someone saying, do you want a glass of water? And I was like, yes. And I like, dropped it instantly right before the show. Like, I remember just like, I, oh, I was so nervous. And I look back at it now. I think you can find it online. I think maybe it was 2014. Maybe, and it was just awful. It was just like I was talking nonsense, you know? Um, but it's cool to be reminded of the fact that you should always work hard and prepare well because, you know, it's going to be on video forever. <laughs> so, yeah. It hasn't gotten better. You're like, are you still nervous when uh, you do live things? Yes, I'm still nervous, but like, I'm, I'm, it's like healthy, you know? Okay. It's like a healthy adrenaline nervousness and not a, I cannot speak oh, nervous okay. uh, kind of type. And also we do a lot in the studio here in Berlin. And I know that studio, like the back of my hand, you know, oh, yeah. like I, you know, it's, it's just, it feels like home. So it's, it's harder there to get nervous, but I'm sure once we hopefully get to go back to the big arenas um, that I feel, you know, that excitement again from all the people in the, in the crowd. Otherwise, you could just start with a Belgian beer to take that job. Absolutely. Not, <laughs> not advisable before a show, but hey. I was also wondering if, I know I felt that way. If there was one moment you remember um, that was that one, I made it moment. The moment where you just, you have to call your mom or your dad or whoever, like you instantly pick up the phone. Was there like a single moment that, you, that stands out to you? Uh, it's weird because those are different for my parents and for me, because for my parents, it was when I was on Belgian television. Oh. Because you know <laughs> yeah, how it is with parents and grandparents, they like, the internet is whatever, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. we don't care about it. It's but, a fad. But once you're on that box, then you've made it. Um, but for me, it was actually back in 2013 of already. I didn't think I made it. I just, I, I remember thinking, oh my God, this is really important. Like what I'm doing yeah. is important, it's cool, it's big, and I'm here and I'm here for it, you know, because uh, I got to go, I mean, cast your mind to 2012. I was in my bedroom making videos 
And a year later, in 2013, I was on the stage in Staples Center in Los Angeles, welcoming everyone to the League of Legends World Championship. And I remember thinking, what? Oh, what? what? <laughs> is, this, is this real? And the cool thing is that it just kept, I mean, I was really, I think I was not as good as a host then as I am now, obviously, because I've been doing it for like a year. But I will always remember that as like, just a shaping moment in my career uh, because Staples Center, you know, there yeah. are there are bands that never get to play in Staples Center. Uh, you so you played in Staples Center. I played in Staples Center. <laughs> yeah, I said three lines and I did a couple of interviews for sure. But uh, it's cool and it just looks nice. Uh, oh, have you done many shows? Yeah, I just won in Staples Center. Staples Center. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Have you done many interviews? Yeah, I interviewed sharks. sharks. And we drank beer. <laughs> we so drank like, beer. you know. Yeah, it's actually pretty good though. Thanks for. It's uh, nice. So I don't know if you have a lot of work still today, but I wouldn't recommend like downing it fast because it's a really okay. heavy beer. I'll take it slow. You're my most important uh, job today, okay. so it's fine. Yeah. So of course, for your career and for also working with Riot, it was like a natural transition to go to Germany and be in Berlin. Yeah. But how was it to move from Belgium, like to like uproot yourself from your home country? Uh, I first moved to Cologne, luckily, for the first year. So uh, that wasn't that far away because it kind of felt still like home because it was like an hour and a half train and I was in Brussels again. Yeah. So it was fine. Um, uh, and then to Berlin was, I think, kind of a bigger step because all of a sudden it was much farther away. Uh, plus, it's a completely different vibe. You know, Berlin really is a world city. Like, it's huge. You, you know, you, the traffic is insane. I don't need to tell you that probably. Um, but I kind of didn't think about it because I, I was just of the mind of, I want to do this job and I want to follow my career. And I don't care if I have to move to I don't know where. You know, I, I'm just going to do it because it doesn't really matter where I live as long as I can be in esports. Um, uh, and after a couple of years, though, like now it's becoming a bit harder because in the beginning I was like, okay, work, 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 travel, 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 travel. And I'm like, oh, I kind of miss seeing my family. <laughs> I think especially with COVID, I wasn't able to go home. Um, but regardless, I, I actually don't think Germany I mean, is that different from Belgium necessarily. <laughs> they also like beer. They also like fries. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, yeah. you know, there are, of course, uh, many other differences. But I think especially in Berlin, it's such a multicultural city that you can really find anything you want and anything you know you like uh, be it in food be it in culture be it in art be mm. it in whatever you know so um it's nice living here there's a lot to be done here and there's a lot of cool people here. Yeah. and if we said like aside from your family and your relations of course is there any like single thing you miss about belgium the most um yeah i would have to say it's probably just my friends and like the people that don't know shocks i mean they know who shocks is but they know if you and they don't like they don't really care not that they don't care but you know what i mean yeah, you yeah, know yeah. Because when I talk to or meet people in esports or at my work, it's always about esports and it's always about my work and stuff. And that's really, really cool. But sometimes I don't want to talk about it. And it's cool because I come home and they just treat me like Afia, you know, and we just talk about normal things and their daily lives and their awesome jobs as well. Yeah. And it, it's really cool difference because you kind of really feel like you're coming home also with your friend group. And I think as I've gotten older, that's what I've missed the most, you know, your people. Yeah. You know? So you can relax and not everything has to be about work. And you don't have to put on like... I feel like a face, you know what I mean? Like, because you're always like on guard when I'm working or even when I'm here and like a fan could come and say hi, I'm always like, shots, yeah. you know? And I can just be if you, you know? I, I'm in a bad mood and that's fine, you know? Um, you can so, yeah. be. I hope you're in a good mood now. Also, Wonderful. you're preparing for Worlds and you yeah. generally have a lot of preparations mm -hmm. going into all of these events that you do. Um, so how does the Jackson app work for you in that process? Uh, it's really handy, actually, because Worlds, uh, I would say, to prepare is a very, very interesting one because, one, you have all the teams from all the different regions um, and there's so much material that you have to look at. So usually I look at the VODs, uh, I talk to the experts, but a big part is also looking at everything that's come out in terms of news articles and interviews that were written. And What's cool about Jackson is that I don't have to go like on Reddit and on Google mm. and on Discord to find the stuff that I want. I can just go to the League of Legends tab, scroll, and then when I see an article, I like click on it and go read it, which is really handy. It's also cool because I can always look at, okay, have I forgotten something? Is there something about FPX that I still haven't thought about or do I need a little bit more info? I just scroll, I find it, I read it, and then I put the link in my, uh, in my preparation doc and it's super easy to find. Um, and I also like that you just can keep informed about other games because I think what happens often when you cover one game is that you get so encapsulated yeah. into the atmosphere <laughs> because you don't go out of your way to go like to the other subreddit or to follow mm. the people on Twitter because you're so in your own zone. And it's cool that on Jackson I can just go, okay, so what's happening in Dota 2? What's happening in Counter-Strike? Oh, this thing happened. This player jump team or whatever. Uh, and it's really nice that everything is so centralized. 
yeah, you can kind of jump from thing to thing or just only go in the trending feed yeah. and see what's new and what's happening. So I actually brought it with me. I have it right here. Yeah. So there are some, of course, some very interesting leaks. Yes, news. of course. The world song just and, dropped. Uh, and we have the calendar as well. Is yeah. that also a function you use to like keep up or do you have everything? No, well, I for me, I, I usually know what's happening, luckily, but it's impossible to keep up with everything that's going on around the, the world. I think especially fall is oh. insane for like the Counter-Strike tournaments, the Dota tournaments, the League of Legends tournaments. So it's really nice to just have an app to be like, okay, what are the scores? When is this happening? Do I need to put my timer on for something that I really want to watch? Uh, it's very handy to have it all in one app because I don't know if it's my age showing, but I'm getting a bit tired of having a million apps open all the time <laughs> to like find what I need. Yeah, okay, it, that makes good sense. Yeah. It's like everything in one place. Yeah, because it's like League, League of Legends, Dota 2, Fortnite, Valorant, and uh, Counter-Strike. What other game do you follow mostly aside from League then? Um, I would say right now it's probably Valorant. Uh, because, well, obviously it's also in the right wheelhouse or whatnot, and I, I followed it like from the beta, but it's really nice to see how that eSport is developing. I think, of, of course I'm biased, um, but Riot is doing a phenomenal job with the tournaments and with the scene and everything, so I'm really excited to see what happens there because my heart, as we talked about, is uh, from Unreal Tournament, so it's yeah. very much in the first-person shooter genre. So Counter-Strike, Valorant are the ones that I always keep an eye on, uh, but right now, you like if you look at my brain, it's like League, 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 League. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the League tab is by far the most important one to you yes. right now. Yes, the only one. Yeah, I have okay. eyes for nothing oh, else yeah. until so, Worlds is over. Until we bring in Street Fighter, yes. League of Legends. My new be, favorite yeah. game, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're you're very active in the in the app and using Jackson quite a lot. What about the other social channels Jackson has? Um, well, on Twitter, Jackson is pretty <laughs> spicy. Uh, I don't really know how to how to describe it, but uh, it's like I don't just get my articles, but I also get spicy takes spicy. Uh, and memes, which I think if you're any modern like um, you know news app or whatever in the space, you got to grip the people with something more than just the content because the content's amazing, but you got to get something to, to really pay attention. And I think that's what's really cool because you feel like you're following the feed of someone like an edgy person who's just giving their takes on the news, right? And that's always more gripping than just seeing a link to an article, I think. So I'm really excited to see what else is going to yeah. happen on that Twitter uh -huh. and on the socials with Jackson. Shuck, she came for the news and all the we stayed for the memes. things and stayed for the memes. <laughs> That's what always happens, yeah. yeah. Um, I had like another little skit prepared for us. Okay. Um, I would like to, maybe this will lower the top, okay. to go into your phone okay. for a little bit. Risky. I mean, everyone wants to know what Shox is like as Evia, as a private yes. person. So if you're up for I'm that, up for I think, oh, you're brave. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to remember if I like have anything <laughs> on my phone that's yeah. bad, but I don't think so. Okay, yeah. let's take a look at it. Yeah. Shox, it's time. You're in the hot seat now, and we're gonna take a look at what's on your phone. What is on my phone? Um, okay, risky business, but I guess I got fries and I got mayo, so I'll do this for you. What would you like to know? First of all, Shucks, who was the last person you spoke with? The last person I spoke on the phone with, uh, I have to check, but it was my uncle yesterday because I actually got him and um, some of my family members tickets to go to the football in Leipzig. And I was very excited to hear how everything was. And uh, Bruges, the team from my hometown, won against Leipzig 2-1, to one, so they were very happy. Shucks, show us a Twitter draft. Uh, a Twitter draft? This is actually the hardest because I don't know, like, people watching maybe feel the same way, but if I make a draft late at night, um, it's never good. Like, it's good that I haven't tweeted it. You know, the rule of always going to bed and sleeping on it is great, but let me look. Um, okay, so the most recent one is, uh, oh, people always say EU is gonna be in German at Worlds, but we're always great, so keep watching. <laughs> That's very on brand for me. Yeah, for sure. Shucks, what was the last song you listened to on Spotify or YouTube? Um, I actually don't even have to check because I remember I worked out yesterday and I listened to Doja Cat's uh, new al her album. It's not really new, Planet Her. And the last song was um, Ain't... Sh I mean, it's a swear word. It was Ain't shit. Maybe you can bleep it out. Shucks, what was the last photo you took? The last photo I took, um, I take tons of selfies like to check if like I don't have anything in my teeth for broadcast, but the last photo was actually, and this is no surprise, of my kitten, my cat Jack. Uh, it's him sleeping on my keyboard when I'm playing Valorant, which I'm very happy about because if he's awake, he just attacks my keyboard and attacks my fingers and that's not good for the ranked play, so. Shucks, what was the last text message you sent? 
The last text message I sent uh, was dangerous. Let me see. Let me see. What's up, probably? Ah, uh, ah, it was actually because we're at level. Uh, I sent a good luck, have fun to uh, Paula, who's a friend of mine, and she streams here, and she was just doing a New World stream. So I dropped her a little good luck, have fun, girly. And lastly, Shucks. What was your last Google search? My last Google search? Um, ah, I looked up the spelling of the word transparency, which is funny because I'm always looking up so, uh, like words that are actually very easy to spell, but I'm not a native English speaker. So I just try and catch myself before I make mistakes and send it out in an email to 300 people, you know, so or tweet, so. Thank you, Shucks. Your answers are satisfactory. You may leave the hot seat. I may leave? Okay, where am I? Where am I going? Is it? Is, hey, that, okay. But who is behind all this? Who's behind this? Who is Jackson? Oh, hello. What is? I, oh. You're Jackson! I see! Alright, well keep up the good work.